G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I am reacting to your unpopular AFL opinion. Before we hop into this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe to the channel. Seeing the subscribers grow over the last year has been absolutely amazing and we want to continue the momentum. Friend of the show, Andy Munro, has written in and said, finishing first on the ladder is harder than winning the grand final. Yeah, that's actually not a bad call, to be honest. Like, you could have a bit of a shaky season Season and then just put three or four games together and win the grand final. It's still pretty tricky. But finishing first on the ladder, you have to be the best team over 23 weeks. So potentially, it is harder. Bit of Footy has written in and said, Saturday Twilight Finals are actually top notch. I tweeted this throughout the week when the Pies were playing the Cats. What an atmosphere. 91,000. It started in the afternoon. It finished by dusk. It was an amazing atmosphere. I love when um, the lights kick in and it starts to turn into a bit of a night game. I thought that that Twilight Final was awesome and a Twilight Grand Final would be unbelievable. So I reckon a bit of spot on the money there. Artie's written in and says the Blues should have made finals. That's his unpopular opinion. I, I couldn't agree more. I know these are meant to be unpopular and I'm, I'm meant to be shocked by these opinions and I guess this is an unpopular opinion because everyone keeps rinsing the Blues saying they didn't deserve it and they got kicked out and whatnot. I think the Blues had a better year than the Western Bulldogs. Um, so yeah, heartbreak for the Blues but you feel like they can bounce back next year and give it a real shake. Max has said Jack Ginnivan doesn't duck. That is a massive call because everyone likes to hop on the hate guinea train but I sort of agree. It's it's not really a duck in terms of duck and drive your head forward. It sort of drops the shoulder. I'm not, like, to me, a duck is ducking your head. Dropping your shoulder, I'm not necessarily sure is a duck. But, um, yeah, for years I despised it. I could not stand Joel Selwood doing it, Toby McLean, Lockie Hunter. I really, really got irritated by it. Um, and I've learned to get around the art of challenging the tackler. So I, I would say that Jack Kinnaman doesn't duck either. I reckon you're on the money there, Max. Miles says Max Gorn is overrated in terms of like ruck craft. Um, I'm not sure he's the best like tap ruckman in the competition. Potentially he sort of tap, tap work doesn't come across as the best, but his marking and influence around the ground is second to none. It's crazy. It's won us games in the back line when he floats back and defensively marks, and it's won us games forward. And um, I don't think a Ruckman was necessarily used in that way for a long, long time. I reckon he's one of the first to sort of be like a spare man in defense for long periods of game. Harry Smith says, Majacek is one of the best forwards in the league. I agree. I cannot believe some of the marks uh, Brady Majacek yanks down <laughs> and takes. Uh, he is an absolute star. Um, and he's undersized as well, so for him to do what he does, it's incredible. And if you just had one more forward to sort of complement Brody Majacek, it would be, um, yeah, it, it, it would be the perfect recipe. So, yeah, Brody Majacek's, yeah, one of my favorites. Matt D. Bond says, Jeremy Cameron is one of the best players in the game currently. I think Jeremy Cameron is reaching sort of Dusty Martin levels of influence. Like, if Jeremy Cameron has 12 touches, it's super, super damaging. His foot skills are crazy. Yeah, that one-two punch of Jezza Cameron and um, Tommy Hawkins, and then Gary Rowan when he pulls his finger out and fires up in finals, that is a lethal combination. It's a combination that really should win the flag. Um, there's no questions about it. If they can't do it this year, it's, it's, it's crazy. There's something wrong with the Cats. They might be cursed. Jakey says double Friday nights are good. I don't violently disagree with this. I would say that the double Friday nights are almost better than the double Saturday nights. If they can sort of really separate the two, if the first Friday night in Melbourne can be like 7.20 and then the one in Perth be like 8.40 or something. Yeah, I, I sort of, I don't mind that at all. I, I don't know why, but yeah, for some reason in my head, double Friday nights are almost better than double Saturday nights. Maybe I'm just um, concussed or something. Jared, Petrarca is overrated. Well, that's... That doesn't make much sense. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense at all. He's one of our best players. He's one of the best players in the comp. And the word overrated, I get really fickle with because that means he is rated. So that means you're sort of going, hey, Petrarca isn't the fourth best player, but you're conceding that he might be the seventh. And now we're just splitting hairs. But I don't mind it. I love the bravery, Jared. And this is what this show and segment is all about. Charlie, supporters are far too harsh on the umpires. Because of the cricket, how's that? And you can yell at the umpire and plead <laughs> for a decision. Um, because of cricket, 
and that complaining to the umpire, I think that's influenced footy. <laughs> and like we yell ball to try and overturn the decision. That's what we're attempting to do. We're trying to be loud enough, make the umpire realize that that is holding the ball. Uh, we, we have an incredible sport. There's a lot of gray area. And it's funny, like I'll be watching a Melbourne game and there'll sort of be a 50-50 call, go to the opposition. A 50-50 call, go to the opposition. Then a 50-50 call, not go to my team. And I feel really cheated. But because of the gray area in the competition, all decisions that the umpire makes are probably right. I think you're right, Charlie. I don't think umpires make absolute hell as like people make them out to be. So, um, yeah, I think unpopular opinion sticking up for the umps. I rate it. Mitchell has written in, Crows are going to be the top eight bolter next season. Youth looking scary. That is a little bit unpopular because people have been sort of... um, rinsing the crows of recent times but i don't mind that they do have a good young core if they get an isaac rankin into the mix who knows charlie kelly underwood is a good commentator now i've got a i've got a funny little take on the kelly underwood commentary and i think this season in particular there's been a couple of clunky moments and and me sort of trying to have a crack at afl media i can really empathize and sympathize with her because um, I know how tricky it is for me to string sentences together, so to be live and commentating footy. And I reckon most of the games she commentates, they commentate from the bunker, not at, at the ground. I think it would be really, really tricky. But one thing I would say is there's so many other commentators that make mistakes and there's not kids making TikTok compilations about them. And there are some big, big commentators that everyone loves that don't get the names right, always sort of butcher their words, and they never get picked on in TikTok compilations. So on one hand, I do sort of believe that Callie Underwood probably isn't in the best form, um, and I do sympathize and empathize with that. But on the other hand, I don't think other commentators get ganged up on the way she does. All right, guys, that is it for another video. I appreciate everyone sending in their AFL unpopular opinions. I love doing this every season. Um, I don't know if I've done one this year or not. I probably have. That's because I really enjoy doing them. I think it's um, I think it's quite fun. There will be an AFL game day vlog out on Saturday morning from the D's and Lions game. I'm super, super nervous, but I have faith that the boys can get the job done. Until then, I appreciate all of the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in, and I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Go the D's. <laughs>